Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my April plan with me video from the moment I am filming this video We are reaching the end of March and honestly I haven't really been decorating my planner for the month of March because I'm currently in like the middle of semester or almost towards the end of semester So it's been a bit hectic and I haven't really had the time to decorate But other than that today, we're just going to set up the month of April and I'm really excited to show you guys the theme that I I did because I really really love it and I don't know it's just what I'm obsessed with right now and you've probably seen it from the thumbnail but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and without further ado let's just get started before we get started with the overall plan with me portion of this video, I will quickly show you a flip through of what I did for the month of March. If you haven't seen already, I did a frog slash green theme and as you can see here, I didn't really complete a lot in this month because it's been a really hectic month with uni and just assignments in general so I just haven't had the time to decorate. I have just been jotting down things with a mechanical pencil and just planning things out for my day to day life and hopefully soon I'll be able to catch up on it it's just the reality of being a college student it's just really hard to you know make things pretty when your life is literally a mess so that's just how it is I am creating a pom-pom pudding theme for the month of April as you probably saw from my thumbnail and for this theme I chose pom-pom pudding because I really wanted to do a Sanrio theme but there are so many Sanrio characters that it would just be really overwhelming to try and create or implement all the characters into a spread so I just chose my absolute favorite which is Pom Pom Pudding which is a golden retriever shaped or designed to look like pudding it is such a cute character and just these days I've been really obsessed with Sanrio things I mean I've always loved Sanrio and I feel like a lot of people can relate with me on that like a lot of us especially those probably born in like the early 2000s or 90s or just or just any time around that i feel like we were all exposed to like these characters especially hello kitty i know as like an asian person i have always gravitated towards hello kitty and just those sanrio characters like Kerapi and My Melody. These are just familiar characters that I saw everywhere, especially when I went to like the Asian stores or places that sell Asian stationery or Asian goods. They're just very apparent and I've always loved them. Being on the internet as of lately, I've just been seeing a lot of Sanrio related things and I'm not even mad at it. Like there have been a lot of collaborations with Sanrio and gaming products such as Razer. There are Sanrio collaborations with Daiso, Miniso, or like they just sell those things. And also Animal Crossing recently has a collaboration with Sanrio and you can get Sanrio related furniture items on your island or Sanrio related villagers on your island as well. I know it's been a thing for a while like this Sanrio collaboration was apparent in the New Leaf game but I didn't play Animal Crossing until now and I recently purchased the Amiibo cards and I'm absolutely in love and just so obsessed with the Sanrio themed things. So yeah that's why i decided to choose this theme for this month and actually i haven't really done a yellow and brown theme in a while i think the last time i did it was in 2019 in my bullet journal or 2018 when i did a sunflower theme but yeah i haven't really had this color scheme in my planner slash bullet journal in a while so it's nice to have this little change and kind of do something new i feel like lately i've just been trying to figure out some unique themes to do in my planner i don't know it's just stepping out of my comfort zone but yeah i just decorated the monthly layout i created this lettering that's inspired by pudding as you can see it's like it has a caramelized top on top of the letters i just added some shine and i also added some drop shadows to make it pop out a little bit more and on the side i wrote main menu usually i would write tasks for the month but I guess to fit the theme of like food and desserts and stuff, I just added a main menu type of lettering there to fit more of the aesthetic, I guess.
So moving on to my weekly spread, I just continued to implement a lot of yellows and browns in my spread. I added this pole coat of Ryujin from Itzy. She just matches the theme because the pole coat is yellow and it's close enough. I feel like it matches the spread well. And then I just added week one next to it just to indicate that this is the first week of april all my weeks are the same as i mentioned in all of my plan with me videos but i just try to make it all cohesive with the theme that i chose for that month and i just like to decorate it however i want with stickers or washi tape that fit that theme i don't really go too extreme or too detailed with it because i really do not have the time to keep that up consistently i like to just decorate it just do it in a way that makes each week like unique i guess there's not much things that i can do in a planner because the layout is already set out for me like i can't make it from scratch but i really don't mind it because yeah i don't have the time to make a new theme or layout every single week so that's why i use a planner I created or drew these pudding shaped things for the days of the week and just used a white pen to write the numbers. I decorated it with some washi and some stickers and yeah just anything to bring this spread to life. Overall, it's pretty much just a yellow and brown slash pudding theme and I will just occasionally draw pom pom pudding there on the side just to bring it all together. Not gonna lie, it's really simple to draw this character and it's just really cute. And yeah, that's pretty much the spreads that I created for this month and I think it's more simple than I thought it would be. I like it, it's really cute. The character itself just makes it all cute in my opinion. Yellow is just a happy color so I hope that this spread can emit that feeling as well to you guys and yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys didn't mind my little ramble session for this voiceover and I just hope you guys enjoyed this overall plan with me. Let me know who your favorite Sanrio character is and let me know what theme you did for April. So that is pretty much it for this plan with me video. I really enjoyed creating it. I just love Pom Pom Pudding. He's just so cute and I don't think I've done a yellow and brown theme in a while. I think the last time I did it was like back in 2019. I don't think I did it last year. Not that I can remember. But yeah, anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed the little voiceover portion of it. And I guess I'll just see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Please take care of yourselves and I'll just see you later.